Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to install Atlas OS, a custom lightweight version of Windows 11 designed to maximize performance and minimize resources usage by removing unnecessary features and services. It's popular among gamers and power users. And the best part is you don't need a USB to install it. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm using Atlas OS right now. It's super fast and lightweight. Now, if I bring up the performance tab, you'll notice a big difference compared to a freshly installed Windows 11. The process count, thread count, and handle count are all much lower. That means applications and games run much faster with less lag, and you should see improved FPS as well. Now, if you're using Windows 11 and want to install Atlas OS, the process is simple. However, if you're on Windows 10 and want to upgrade to Atlas OS, you'll need to first upgrade to Windows 11, which is easy to do. Let me show you how to upgrade to Windows 11. Open your browser and let's search for download Windows 11 ISO. Click on the first link, which is the official Microsoft website, and scroll down until you see download Windows 11 disk image. Select Windows 11 Multi Edition from the drop down and click on Download. Next, choose your preferred language and click on Confirm. And then select 64 bit download and the download will start. It's around 6 GB, so just wait for it to complete. Once the download is complete, let's right click on the file and select Mount. You'll find the Windows installation file inside. Simply click on the setup, then click on yes. The Windows installation page will appear. Click next and follow the instructions to install Windows 11. Now, if you're using an unsupported PC and can't upgrade to Windows 11, I've included a link to a video that shows you how to upgrade to Windows 11 even on unsupported hardware. Once you're on Windows 11, make sure it's activated. To check, click on the Windows search bar and type activate. From the suggestions, click on activate settings and here you'll see whether your Windows is activated. Once you upgrade to Atlas OS, your Windows activation will remain active. And now we should be ready to install Atlas OS. Open your browser and let's go to the Atlas website. The link is in the descriptions. You can read more about Atlas OS here if you like. Click on the get started button and you should see this window. From the bottom, click on already following the guide link. And here you'll need to download both Atlas Playbook and AME Wizard. So let's click on both to start downloading. Once both files are downloaded, first, Let's right click on the Atlas Playbook and select Extract All. Click Extract and once it's done, you'll see all the files. Now let's double click on Disable Automatic Driver Installation. Click Run, then Yes, and Yes again, and finally OK. You can now go back or close the window. Let's find the AME Wizard file right click on it and select extract all click extract and once it's done you'll see the ame wizard file double click on it and click yes and you should see the ame wizard dashboard here it will say select a playbook click on drag apbx file to load playbook and navigate to the location where you extracted the atlas playbook Double click on the Atlas Playbook folder and select the Atlas Playbook.apbx file and click on open. Next, you'll be instructed to disable security because the AME wizard needs file system access. Click on run action button, then open Windows security. And here, toggle off all the security options. Once done, you should see the message Windows Security is disabled. You can now close the Windows Security and go back to the AME wizard and click on Next. 
Next, the AME wizard will check for Windows activation. So make sure your Windows is activated. Once the check is complete, you should see a green tick. Click next, then next again, and agree to the terms. When you reach the configuration options screen, click select options, and here you can choose to enable or disable Windows Defender. Now, it's highly recommended to keep it enabled for antivirus protection. So I'll just keep mine enabled and click on next. And here it's recommended to disable the core isolation. Click next to proceed. Additionally, you'll have some more options. You can choose to remove Microsoft Edge browser if you like, disable Bluetooth if you're not using it, or turn off power saving if you don't need it. I'll just leave all three options unchecked for now and click on OK. Then click on Next. And now the installation process will begin, so just wait for it to complete. Once the installation is complete, Atlas OS will restart your computer to apply all the changes. After the restart, you'll see the new dashboard. The wallpaper will now be changed to Atlas OS. The start menu and icons will be moved from the center to the left side. And you'll see your Edge browser on the desktop, which you have the option to remove during installation. You'll also find the Atlas icon, which provides access to various tools. Clicking on the Windows icon will show you the new look and feel, and you'll notice that most of the Windows spotware are not there. When you right click on the desktop, you'll see the classic Windows 10 contacts menu, which looks pretty cool. Additionally, the system is working much faster. Now let's check if the Windows activation is still active. Type activate in the search bar and click on activation settings. You'll see that the Windows 11 is still activated with the Windows 11 Pro and the status is active. All right, that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.